Every day at work, you repeat the same boring, tedious, mind-numbing task on your computer, and it literally drains the life out of you. And yet, you do them again and again, every single day. Ugh. Now, what if I told you you'll never have to do any of those tasks manually ever again by using one open source tool called N8N? And this is exactly what I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you how professions in sales, IT, security, web development, and many other fields are wiping out hours of tedious work simply by using that tool. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly why you should use N8N immediately starting today. Very good. First, let's address what is in it and exactly what well, is very simple. It's an open source software that you can install on your server. So that means it's completely free, unlike Zapier and IFTTP, which you have to pay for them. And the best part, it's a no code solution. So that means you don't have to learn complicated programming languages. You can use it immediately straight out of the box by using nodes. Now, just for you to realize how powerful this solution is, let me show you a few real case scenarios. For instance, if you work in IT, you can onboard new employees without doing any manual work anymore. Create your trigger, send that information to the AI agent. From here, define your chat model, memory, and which tool you want to use. For instance, Microsoft Entro ID and Jira software and then implement a condition, is your manager, true or false, in which case you can either add this to your channel on Slack or update their profiles. And if you work in security, you can automate your incident tickets. For instance, you get a new issue. What happens next? You extract the IP and domains and then scan the URL for viruses, get the report, merge the report and finally post the results. And you can also process very complex tasks like this one here for DevOps. And if you are in sales, it's the same principle. You can, for instance, generate customer insight from reviews. So you get the reviews, go through the process, and finally you get your insight to Google Sheets. Very good. So now I'm pretty sure you're probably excited and dying to try this for yourself and start automating all these different tasks. Now, when it's true that N8N is open source and completely free, you still have to install it on a server for it to work, but not any server. If you use a shared server, it's not going to be powerful enough. So for this, we'll have to use a VPS server. So the best value we found ourselves is by using Hostinger. It starts at just $4.99. And on top of that, it comes with an auto installer. So you don't need an engineering degree to install NetN on the server either. So that makes life much easier. So for this, all you have to do is to click on the first link in the description below where it says get hosting here. And this will bring you to this landing page dedicated to N8N. And if you select the plan, as you can see, it starts at just $4.99 per month. So this one is absolutely fine to run N8N. This is very powerful and strong enough. After this, select your plan and then you'll be redirected to your shopping cart. So from here, you can select your billing cycle. So up to 24 months. Right here, I have a coupon code for you guys. Simply type Mr. Web for an extra 10% discount. And now we can set up and configure our server. So first, you're gonna select your server location. So the nearest one to you. So we're based in Ireland. So we'll select United Kingdoms. And right here, you need to select your operating system or you can select a specific application. So in our case, we are going to select N8N. So simply click on this, confirm and then continue and proceed to checkout. Very good, and then you'll be redirected to your hosting a dashboard. As you can see, you have a quick overview. So N8N was indeed installed on Ubuntu 24.04, which is the latest version of Linux. And as you can see clearly, all of this has been done for us without a single line of code. And I can guarantee you, if you were to install Ubuntu and N8N on your own, this will require almost an engineering degree. Very good. We're making great progress already. We have everything installed. So now let me show you how you can automate your tasks. Okay, so for this, back to the hosting a dashboard, your N8N instance here. So click on Manage App. And right here, you can set up your account. So enter your details and then click Next. Fill out those details and click Get Started. Very good. So the next step here, make sure not to skip this because this is to get all the paid features for free forever. 
But for this, you need a free activation key. So I'll click on this button here and now go and check your emails. And then once you have activated the license key, you'll be registered on the community edition. And then you can start either from scratch or test a simple AI example. So let's start from scratch here as an example. Very good. And now we can add our first step, create our different triggers, actions, etc., etc. Now, if you're not too sure if it's your first time using this, you can use shortcuts by using the ready-made templates. So I'll click on this and right there, as you can see, you have access to more than 4,000 workflows of automation templates. So as you can see, you have AI, sales, IT, marketing, and so on and so on. So if you were in sales department, click on this, scroll down the page, and right here, you have all these different featured sales templates that you can use. For instance, you can scrape recent news about a company before a call or create a Salesforce account based on Google Sheet data. This one here is absolutely amazing. You can generate leads with Google Maps. So instead of opening Google Maps, running search and all that and scraping data yourself and wasting hours, you can even automate this using those templates here. So let's say you wanted to use this one as an example again, click on it, okay? And as you can see here, there's a button, use for free, click on this. And now you can import that directly into your VPS as long as you are logged in in a different tab at the same time. So I'm just going to click on this and then simply follow the steps. As you can see for this one here, obviously, we need at least one Google Sheet account to set up this template. Now you can skip as well if you wanted to. So this is loading the whole template and sequence. You can see is quite comprehensive. And now if you wanted to execute that workflow, obviously you have to connect your Google account to this, and then you'll be able to start fetching all information directly from Google Maps right into your Google Sheets. So back to our workflow. So let's start from scratch. And for this, we have to add our first step. So click on the plus sign. And the first step is going to be our trigger. So you have all these different options here. So what do you want to do exactly? You want to trigger this manually on an app event, for instance, like Notion or Airtable, on a schedule, on a webhook call, on a form submission, and so on and so on. Okay, so as you can see, there's quite a few different situations you can choose from. So let's go maybe with on app event here, and then we can select the app. I mean, look at this, guys, all the apps you can connect directly here. You have Affinity, Agile, CRM, Airtable, Asana, Autopilot, all sorts of AWS services. Uh, what has Beeminder, Bitly, Box, Brevo, Bubble. I mean, come on, guys. It's very, very, very comprehensive indeed. So you can select any of those apps, connect them, treat the data, do whatever you want with them. So let's go ahead with an example here. So let's say maybe we use ClickUp and every time something is created, we are going to do something. So let's say maybe if a task is being created, and then it will open up all the parameters and settings you need to put in place in order to connect to your ClickUp app, obviously. And also here, we're gonna create our own credentials. And then after this, you have to enter all your credentials. Now, obviously this will vary from one app to the other. So let me do that quickly. There you go, I've created that and now save. Very good, so this has been successfully created. And as you can see, the connection was tested successfully. So we are connected now. So we can close this. And now that we are connected, we can select our team. So Mr. Web. So now we can go out of this. So this is our ClickUp trigger done. So you can move this by the side if you wanted to. And then click on the plus sign now to define what happens next. So do you want to use AI maybe to summarize or search the document? Do something specific in the app? Do you want to use data transformation? So manipulate, filter, or convert data? You want to change the flow, core, or human in the loop. So in this case, we're going to try maybe to manipulate the data. So let's click on this together. And then again, you have lots of different options to choose from. You can use code like JavaScript or Python. You can manipulate date and time, maybe edit fields, filter, limit, remove, and so on and so on, obviously, you know. So let's say in this case, maybe you're away for a few days. Something happened with your family. You have to look after something very specific. You'll be away for two days. You want maybe all the tasks being created at a specific time to be rescheduled automatically to maybe the following week or something like this. So if we select date and time as an example here, all of those options here, the add to a date is the most suitable, obviously, and also let's click on this. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to add a few days to our actual date, okay? So as you can see, add to date. So what do you want to add? Days, hours, minutes, seconds, weeks, months, quarters, years, you know? It's very, very comprehensive indeed. So in our case, let's say we're going to add four days each and every time, okay? 
and then there's only one thing left is to enter the date to add to so this is going to be your date and that's basically it as you can see now we have this in place and then after this maybe i want to send myself an email so that i know that this appointment this task has been rescheduled so what i can do is click on the plus sign again and then from here i'm going to select human in the loop and as you can see you can send a message to slack maybe telegram uh, via gmail or discord or whatever you know so i'm just going to select send an email and again you'll have to enter your credentials so click on create new credentials enter your details very good so this is done and test it as well so i can exit out of this so here enter all the details so from to the subject and the message and for the operation i'm going to change this to send okay so that's basically it so we're done already and there you go so this is our complete workflow after this don't forget to click save very good and now we can put this to the test so for this i'm going to go back to the clickup trigger here as you can see i created a new event to create a list and now we can execute the step very good as you can see it is listening and if i go to click up and create a new event so let's create a list as an example if i go to mr web click on the plus sign i'm going to create a new list okay so let's call this maybe n8n test okay and let's create this very good so this has been created now if i go back here as you can see the node was executed successfully and you know that everything is working fine and if you go back to your dashboard here as you can see we have the event listed out and everything is working 100 percent now as you know on the channel we like to show you how you can save a ton of money or either make a ton of money by using all sorts of different solutions now if you'd like to find out how you can make four thousand us dollars in recurring payments every single month simply by setting up email marketing for busy businesses then you can simply use omnisend.com as your go-to platform and for this i have a complete walkthrough video which you can watch right there.